Hi there and welcome to the Uxup channel and welcome to this tutorial for the ukulele playlongs of the Honu song as recorded by Tria and written by Trisha Cabral. Now I found this song when I was actually looking up some things about the Honu turtles and as a result this song popped up in YouTube. I immediately thought this is a great song, great for young players, it has Hawaiian in it, and it embraces some of the aloha spirit of Hawaii, and I immediately wanted to make a play along of it. Now what we'll do in this video, first of all, is we'll show you the chords you need for GCEA, soprano concert or tenor ukulele, then we'll show you the chords you need for baritone DGBE ukulele, and then we'll talk about strumming and a little bit of picking for this song. If you like the chords of this song, you can actually find the chords and lyrics on Trisha Cabral's website, but you can also find them at ukutabs.com, which is a collaborator with this site. All right, let's get into the chords for GCA ukulele. I'll be using this instrument, which I am so pleased to have. It is a Kanalea, which is one of the K brands. So um, they're not rare, but they're definitely expensive. They're made of koa. I got a great deal on it used. And this is a 2018 model K1C koa concert Kanalea instrument. The first chord you'll need is a C chord, then a G7 chord, you'll need a C7 chord, you'll need an F chord, and you'll need a G chord. And the other chord you'll be using is a C sus4, so you'll play your C chord, and then you put the first finger as if you're going to play the F chord. And that's resolving down to the C chord every time it's played. So you can get used to playing C sus4 and then C. And those are the chords you need for the Honu song on GCEA soprano concert or tenor ukulele. Now let's take a look at the chords you need on baritone ukulele. For the baritone, I'll be using my mainland baritone. It has a cedar top with rosewood back and sides. The first chord you need is the C chord, then the G7 chord. You'll also need the C7 chord, so while you're on the C chord, you add two fingers to the third fret, C7. Then you'll need an F chord. If you struggle with the F chord, it's pretty common. Let's make it as easy as we can. Put the first finger across the first two strings right above the first fret and then pull against the fretboard, and you should be able to get clear sound out of those strings without too much effort. Then add the thumb for just a little bit of support. Don't think about clamping, but just a little bit of support. Then add the second and third fingers to the third and fourth strings. That's the F chord. Then the G chord. Then the final chord is the C sus4 chord. So you play your normal C chord, but you bar strings one and two at the first fret, like the F chord, it's going to sound like this. And then it's going to resolve down. And those are the chords you need on baritone DGBE ukulele for the Honu song. Now let's talk about strumming and some picking. Now there is some picking both at the beginning and in the breaks. And it's a little bit different picking. The first one is between C chord. Then G7, back to the C chord, then to G7, then we're going to do strumming. So what am I playing there? I am playing the C chord and plucking strings 1, 2, and 4. If you watch this channel, I use that a lot, but it gives you a nice chord at the start of a picking pattern. Then I'm playing 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. So you can practice going three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. So it sounds like this. It's just swung a little bit. And we do the same exact thing with the G7 chord. So play one set of one, one set of the other, one set of one, one set of the other, and you've got the intro. Now, let's talk about the strumming pattern. 
Ultimately, what you're going to have here throughout the entire song is a modified island strum. If you play the island strum, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, you'll be fine. So if you know how to play the island strum and you don't want to mess around, you can play that. But if you want to play what I hear in the recording, it's the island strum except for the final up. So they go down, down, up, up, down. Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. C. C7. F. And that pattern works through the entire song. Down, down, up, up, down. Now, if you play an occasional uh, island strum in there, it would sound like this. And, you know, it would work too. So if you play the island strum, nobody's going to come and arrest you with the ukulele police. But again, I hear down, down, up, up, down. Now, the other thing to add is a little picking pattern between C and C sus4. So what I would do is I would play strings 1, 2, and 4 like previously in the intro, then string 3, then string 2, then change chords, which means adding one finger, and then pluck one, two, and four again, then three, two. So this one's one, two, four, three, two, one, two, four, three, two. If you want to think of it that way, it would sound like this. You can just do it over and over and over again until you get it. And Again, take it slow. You can go very, very slow to practice it. And really, that's it for the Honu song. Great little song. Great nod to Hawaii. Love it. And please do visit Tria Music and listen to their other works. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you're having a great day. And I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.